How's everybody doing? Back today with another Slice Machine Golf video today. We're gonna be going through my bag, doing a little what's in the bag, showing you guys what I've gotten here, um, showing some of my stock yardages um, that I don't know very well at all. So let's, let's just hop right into it. Um, to start off, we've got the driver. Um, the only thing I have a head cover for, and it's a very, very difficult head cover to get on and off. It's actually very annoying, and I usually leave it off when I have around. <laughs> um, as you can see, upside down, yep, it is a tailor-made burner draw. It's from like 2007, 2012, that, that era, I'm not exactly sure. Um, this thing goes anywhere from 180 to 260. Um, 260 is the farthest drive I've ever hit. It was downhill, so that wasn't the stock at all. If I had to guess, I'd say this is, this is about the 220, 240 club. Um, but I'll take it anywhere from usually anything that's 200 plus off the tee, um, anything lower. Um, we'll move on to the next club. The Tailor-Made Burner Rescue 4 Hybrid. This thing I take about 180, 200, um, maybe an uphill 170, something like that. Um, I think if I hit it very well, it's usually like a 180 to 190 club. Um, I have hit it 200 before. Um, and that's about that. Now, I think what I should be doing is getting some more hybrids because I hit the hybrid a lot better than any of these irons. Um, let's just take these out real quick. For some reason, my, uh, my car, my street is the Autobahn today. We have everyone driving on it. I'm not sure why. Let's see if I can get the, ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We've got pitching wedge through five. Um, I don't know why I said that like that, but these are Wilson Tor, Wilson Tor Deep Undercut, whatever that means. These are also pretty old. Um, these are all my dad's clubs, basically. Um, he used them from like 2010 to 2016, something like that. Got them at various times, and now since he doesn't play anymore, I use them. Um, we can go through the list, I guess. Uh, we'll just go through which one does which, starting at the pitching wedge. This is probably one of my favorite clubs recently. Usually use it at about exactly 100 yards. 100, 105 is usually what I use that at. Um, maybe like a light swing 90. That's what I usually like that for. Um, going down. Where's the, no. This is the nine iron. Um, about 110, 115 out of that baby. Um, moving up. These clubs, um, Eight, I use 120, and seven, I use 130. Um, I'm sort of swinging my irons better recently. Um, cut an insert here. Whoa. Um, so usually my clubs just go five is 150, six, 140, seven, 130. So recently I hit the, the seven iron 150 on a couple of really good strikes. Um, not downhill or anything either. Just how far it went so i think i need to really like key in my iron swing and see how far each of these really goes because they might go farther they might go shorter who knows um but pitching wedge through five is pretty much i usually swing those 100 to 150 within 10 yard increments um it's generally what i hit um we then have these wedges um you probably recognize these a lot of people have these the lazarus wedges um forged Lazarus wedges. I got them off Amazon. Pretty good deal. I think it was 120 for all three of them. I didn't need to buy all three. I only use the 56. I try the 52 every once in a while. I try the 60 every once in a while. I always end up using the 56. We got the putter. This thing is actually used for a lot more than you think. You think, oh, you only use it on the green, right? Wrong. If I'm in the rough, if I'm in the fairway near the green, I'm Texas wedging this thing. And I mean, I've made some great putts. I mean, I made two putts from off the green in the last 36 holes that I've played. Um, I made one birdie. Did I make a birdie? I think I've made a birdie in the last three days. I've played 18 rounds a day in the last three days. So I think I made a birdie at one of those points. So the, the putter is probably my favorite thing in the bag. Foot Joy glove. If Foot Joy would love to sponsor me, send me some gloves. I've got two. Ideally, I'd want more of those. That would be my perfect scenario. Um, the tees that I usually use are these uh, Pro Length Plus. I have a big bag of these that I am actually almost through. Um, and then my friend gave me a handful of these 
uh, just plastic red, white, and blue tees. I've liked these recently as well. Um, I've usually been a wooden tee type of guy. Oh, uh, you know what's in there? I'll just grab a handful of balls just to show you. I've got every single ball in here. Um, Titleist AVX, Vice Drive, Kirkland Signature, Top Flight XL, Max Fly, you name it, I've got it. Um, I literally just get balls off the course. I've bought balls a couple times. I usually end up losing the ones I buy, so we sort of just play with whatever. I've got a green one in here. I do have, um, if I buy them, I'll buy pink super softs. I like those because you can see them. Um, literally got every single type of ball you possibly want in here. Um, we got pouches for water. Always make sure the water's filled up. Um, we got this stuff on the side, you know, the towels and stuff. I actually also have a pocket for like range balls and stuff. These are like really bad or badly beaten or practice balls. If I get on a water hazard and I hit one in the water, the second, the, the reef hit that I'm taking is usually going to be with a practice ball, just in case I put it in the water again. Um, I think that's a really useful thing that a lot of golfers could do. Um, and then last but not least, we got sunflower seed, but um, yeah, sunflower seeds have been awesome. Um, I've, you, I, used, I've eaten them the past couple rounds and uh, it, it, it's nice. I like eating sunflower seeds again. I don't know why I have a big rant about them, but uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you did. I know it's not as exciting as my last one, but next week I'm going to get a wheel of clubs going. Um, so we're going to have a wheel of clubs coming up. We're probably going to have another break 50 coming up. Um, so next month's going to be excited. We're going to have to get a lot of footage. I don't know how I'm going to get through the winter uploading every week. Uh, we'll figure that out when we come to it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday at noon.